This is my mother Sandy and I'm Randy, her son. Um, and our story is that we come here from another state and we use all of our funds to get here. She went into a nursing home um, hoping that the uh, OHP program would get approved because of her disability um, and because of her, is her medical issues. OHP did not get approved and so she was basically uh, asked to pay all of the $22,000 um, as of right then, we talked with them. We did come up with a payment plan, but they wanted half her check or more. I mean, it was like $500 a month. That's half her check or more. And so there, they, there was no way we can pay that right now. I mean, we're having to look for a place to live, and right now she's homeless. There's, she, has no, she had nowhere to go. Um, like, we went to the mission. The mission would not take her at all. They said she was not independent enough. OHP says that she's too independent to get OHP. Yes. However, if the mission's saying she's not, but OHP saying she is, two different agencies are saying two different things. It's crazy. So um, basically, we're both, she's forced to be on the street, so I'm her caretaker, and so here we are. And so we're here with the cause, fighting for not only ourselves, but everybody else that are doing the same thing, just needing a safe place to rest until we can get back on our feet. I mean, we don't want to be a burden to family or friends or anything. We just want to be able to get back on our feet and we need a safe space to sleep to do that. And without, with the way the laws are set up, it's illegal for us to do that. And again, the mission would not take her in and I can't leave her by herself. She, she cannot be by herself, you know, I mean, so, here we both are. Oh Lord, the, the, when I get in the, on that cot in there, my back hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts so bad. Cause see, I have back trouble. I have muscle strains in my back, and uh, and my, I get a chore horse in my leg cause my legs get cold. My legs get cold, and I have to relax my legs. I'm trying to relax my legs in the middle of the night, and I'm shivering. I'm shivering. I'm trying to get a chore horse, cause I'm shivering. I have to get out. I have to get up in the middle of the night because that makes me want to use the bathroom more because it's cold. And I have to get up in the middle of the night and go down there to that potty port over there to go use the bathroom. It'll help family, friends, future friends. It'll help people that we don't even know. Um, again, it'll give them a safe place to, to sleep, to rest, so they can get, so they can think, so they can get their minds together, so they can get ahead. And, and do the, the, the processing of making those plans and everything, um, knowing that they have somewhere safe to sleep um, is a peace of mind. Um, not only just the rest, but just the peace of mind to know that they, can, they won't get attacked or arrested or anything. Um, it's, 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 it's more than a pleasure, it's an honor. You know, I mean, I have friends and, and, and I have family that have been homeless and um, you know, I feel like I'm doing it for them. You know, I mean, there, when we were growing up, I remember one time we, luckily we had a piece of land, but we, were, we lived in a travel trailer there for a while. So we've done, I mean, it's happened before. So it happens to everybody. And with the way the economy is right now, I mean, I'm surprised that even more people aren't having to do it. Where are we number? Yeah. We don't even have no trailer. Mm -mm. No, no, so I mean, we are, we're forced into public spaces that, I mean, again, but like I said, we don't want to be a burden to anybody. We just want to be able to have a safe place to, to rest and so I can give her the care she needs and get ahead, get back on her feet. Randy helps me get up out of the, off the cot because I can't get up off the cot by myself. I can only step up so far, you know, I have to step over this, it's just a job stepping over this right here, this tent thing, you know, it's, it's, I, I can only do so much and that's all I can do, you know. I mean, one night we had somebody put cigarette butt, like they poked cigarette, the hot cigarette butt on our, all of our tents. Um, 
for whatever reason. Um, everybody here in this area seems to be very supportive, um, very kind. Um, I mean, th there's donations being brought all the time. We're so grateful. I mean, I mean, everybody, even within the community, with our own little community, are so supportive. Um, but uh, as far as as other bad things, just negative verbal comments coming coming out of the, you know the cars or whatever. Um, but what what I would like to say is that it's not it's not. She can't get a job. You know how they yell out, "Get a job." She can't get a job. She is legitimately homeless. She is legitimately she can't do. I have to do everything for her. And she wasn't. She she did not go out here by choice. She was basically forced out here. OHP Medicaid did not get approved. It's horrible. It's horrible. And, and no no roof over your head. And it's and your my my walker. I leave my walker outside and it gets wet for the mildew. You know. And it, it's not good for my walker to be outside because it's got brakes on it and stuff. You know. And 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 it, it, it's it's cold. I, I, everybody else, it's, it's, it's not, they're not so cold, but I'm, I'm cold. I, I get cold real easy, real easy I get cold. And, and my, and, and it just, it, it just, it just feels, it just feels awful because you're homeless, homeless, homeless. You know, no place to go. And you wish you was in a warm house, you know. I mean, love causes you to help somebody. Causes you, oh, do you need a, a cup of water? Do you need a place to stay? Do you need a blanket? You know, I mean, it, it sounds cliche, but it really is love. I mean, it's the community we have here. We look out for each other. Um, I find I have more friends and more community here than even when I was, I guess you could say, in the system or, or you know, in a, in a normal setting, you know, going day to day to work and, and having a, a, an apartment or a house or whatever. I mean, it's amazing how much we pull together here. And, and I mean, treat, it, treat each other with the greatest of respect. I mean, it's awesome. And we, and we treat the land with respect. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. People that drive by and they just clearly don't get it. They say mean things and stuff, you know. You, you know. They, don't, they don't understand. And they don't know what it's like to be on the outside. If they knew it was like, they, they wouldn't be saying those things. Just, we look out for each other. I mean, we don't have, even when we were living in our apartment, we don't have a really, really close community. We don't have that sense of love and, and care. It's like, what can they get out of us? What can they get, you know? Here it's, what can I do for you? What, and, then, and, uh, and then, what can we do for you? It's give, 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 you know? I, I just believe that it's, it's the golden rule, you know? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Um, again, love. I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds totally cliche, but really it is. It's love. I just wish I had a house somewhere warm to stay. Somewhere, uh, my own things around me and everything. I'm 60 years old, and what what time I got, uh, I don't I don't have that much time because I had a stroke. And what time I have, I'd like to enjoy it, you know. In, in a warm house. It's so cold out here.